Hi, welcome back to Spaghetti Junction. Today we are in Albufera. Hello. Um, yeah, we are um, in Albufera. We just arrived last night. It is August 2020, so technically the coronavirus still hasn't gone totally. And we're going through a tunnel. Let me just get past the music. So it's our first morning here in Albufera. Um, this holiday was planned since last year, September 2019. That was when um, the coronavirus wasn't even a thought. Um, our flights have been changed a couple of times, even uh, the day before yesterday, before we were meant to fly, the return flight has changed, but we're staying in an Airbnb, and luckily... Um, Are these for free? And luckily our Airbnb host was really flexible. First we almost had to cancel, and then um, yeah, now we extend it to one day, so we're staying for two weeks altogether. Um, yeah, oh, we just found the beach, literally, like, oh, yeah. this is really nice, have a look. Are those deck chairs and sun umbrellas free? No, I think you have to, you can rent them. Let's go down the stairs. Okay, so I'll try and walk and talk at the same time. Um, it's been February, last time we did a video in, in Venice. But you know, we're at home all the time. We've been at home for four months. Um, Literally, like we really stuck to the quarantine. We live in Glasgow, and um, yeah, I think um, yeah we did take it. We still take it seriously. So um, okay, so it's moderately busy down here. It's not too busy, as, but it's you know there's people. Here. I don't know how many tourists there. The airport was it was like a ghost town. It was as if um, a virus hit and humanity had been destroyed by the virus. That's literally how it felt like. There were a few restaurants open and Starbucks. There was hardly anyone. Yeah, there was literally maybe a hundred. Glasgow Airport is quite small, but there were maybe a hundred people at the airport. But I must say, like um, I was quite tense about about going to the airport and coming here, but actually. I felt very safe because you're not close to people at all at the airport. I mean, in the in the plane, the plane was maybe half full. Look, these people coming towards us, they're walking on the wrong side because we have the error here. It's nice and hot. It's just so nice to get out and see something different. And now, if you've been in quarantine, you know, you know what I talk about. So, yeah, I mean... Um, I felt very safe at the airport, the plane, okay, but what can you do? We tried to keep up our masks on most of the time. They have a limited menu so you can eat and drink, um, which I think, you know, if somebody has the virus and you cough, you're in the plane, you get it anyway. But my argument is, I mean, I wouldn't encourage, don't, I wouldn't say, like, I wouldn't encourage anyone to go out and book a holiday now if you haven't booked one already chance if you live in a city or you live in a very busy area you can go to the supermarket and somebody can cough there and it's pretty much the same thing. There are lots of people on the beach but yeah. yeah but the, everyone is distant like this doesn't feel like you're sitting on top of each other. I think if there wasn't a virus it would probably be like ten times ten times packed. Um, ten times as packed. Okay we're gonna turn you see the arrows so we follow the arrows and walk. Oh, Betty's going on the wrong side now. And go back here, this way. Um, yeah, and it's just so nice coming from Glasgow. It's, it's probably close to 30 degrees. It's about lunchtime right now, and it's gonna be. It's, an, it's nice and windy here, so it's not unbearable. Our Airbnb is quite warm. I mean, I wouldn't say go out and book a holiday, but on the other hand, I think. We, at some point we have to try and go back to normal and also the tourism industry is obviously is suffering. I don't want all the airlines to go bankrupt and all the um, holiday places and stuff and uh, I think our Airbnb host is very happy that we, we made it. <laughs> We're trying to get used to the, to the weather and having a little walk around the old town. So I think we just finished, uh, we'll walk a little bit further, see what there is, and then we we'll see you, see you in a bit. See you in a bit? Oh, we're just taking a little pit stop, we're having some um, cocktails, I'm having a strawberry and banana smoothie. I'm having a bubblegum milkshake. So hot, now we're cooling down. Mm. We just heard the guy who serves here say that usually 
they have 20 tables here and it's busy. Now look behind me. We are almost the only people here. Oh, well, we made it. We're here. Hooray. <laughs> I feel bad for the businesses, but it's nobody's, you know, what can you do? It's a natural disaster. Um, what can you do? Nothing. Sorry. I find it very pleasantly quiet. It's not too bad. I think it would be really bad if everything was closed, but you still have plenty of restaurants to choose from and things to do. Mm. Really tasty. Mine is tasty, yeah. Yours taste like milk with some bubblegum flavor. So we go home, back to our Airbnb. And we'll do a little Airbnb tour there for you. Because again, it's nice you go somewhere and you know where to go and where to stay. So when we travel, we like staying in an Airbnb. Because we like having breakfast. We like having a lazy morning. And we cook our breakfast at home. So we did that. And it's just a little bit nicer than a hotel room, I think. If you have your own facilities where you can cook and you have a fridge or at least you can... We don't cook epic meals. No, we're not making you stay in an Airbnb. You can also stay in a hotel yeah, if you want. Of course, but we like we like a basic Airbnb. We're sharing a bed, and there's a well, a bathroom. We always have a bathroom. But um, who is picking me every night? Go down. Look at me. So we we, uh, we sleep in a double bed. So uh, last night we said we both stay on our side. I think it worked okay. No, you slept well. The only thing is like the pillow, the pillows are like that high, it's really uncomfortable and then on the other hand I can't sleep without a pillow because that's too flat. Now we will show you our Airbnb. First we go into the bathroom. We have a shower, we have a toilet, we have a sink, we have a washing machine. You know what bathrooms would have. We have another mirror here. Our kitchen, it's got a sink, it's got a thingy, I don't know, what's it called? Cooker. We've got a cooker, we've got a fridge, we've got some cereals, we have a, a table. Here we have a microwave and a messy table. We have a TV but we haven't switched it on yet. Here is our bed. And the best part, we have a balcony. It's a really good balcony. It's small, but you can have breakfast here. We don't have air conditioning, but we have a fan. One more thing, we are in Ruda Tennis. We're right next to the beach and just outside the old town. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe, like our video and ring